In this video, we're going to learn how to make this flyer design in Scribus. I'm going to show you how to put this together step by step. So let's get started. Welcome to class. The first thing you'll need to do once Scribus is running is to create your new document layout. So from the new document wizard, we will select single page, set the size to letter, and orientation to portrait. Now we'll set the margins. For this flyer project, we'll set a single consistent margin around the entire document. Then we'll select OK. The first thing we're going to do is prepare our document by setting our snapping rules. We can do this by right clicking on the document and selecting Snap to Guides. Next, we'll add a few guides to our document. Like before, we will right click on our document and this time we'll select Manage Guides. On the Column Row tab, we will set the horizontal and vertical numbers to 2 and then close the window. This will provide us some assistance in aligning some of the elements on our page. Next, we will jump over to our Layers tab and add a few layers to help break up our layout into easy to work with components. In addition to the background layer, we will add an images and content layer. Then we'll move the images layer below our background layer. Now that we have everything set up, we can shift into working on our design. We will select the background layer and start adding basic elements to our page. First, we'll add a large rectangle across the top of the page and set its fill color to red. Then we'll duplicate the rectangle and make it a little smaller and move it to the bottom of the page. To provide a little contrast and tie the top and bottom elements together, we'll create another rectangle and set its fill to none and stroke to white. Then for the rectangle's line properties, we will increase the line width to three points Keep in mind the value may be different if you're using a different unit of measure. And finally, we'll snap the rectangle edges to our document margins. Now we'll create a line by using the keyboard shortcut L and then clicking and dragging across the document canvas. While clicking and dragging, we can hold the control or command key on the keyboard to ensure the line is perfectly straight. We'll stretch the line from one side of the page to the other. Increase its line width to four points and change its type of line property to a dashed line. Then we'll move the line to the bottom of our first rectangle. We'll duplicate our line by selecting it and pressing D on the keyboard and move the duplicate to the top of our bottom rectangle. And now we can shift to adding our content or text elements to our layout. So let's go ahead and switch to our content layer. Next, we'll add a text frame to the top of our document, having it reach from the left margin all the way to the right margin. We'll add some text with the font of Arial, set automatic line spacing, and adjust the size of the font to get the maximum letter size without wrapping. We'll 
will change the default font color from black to white and adjust our background layer elements as needed to make them sit a little tighter to the text. We'll create another text frame and place it in the bottom of our page. This frame will contain our contact phone number. Next, we'll add another frame just above our contact number telling readers to call if they have any information. Now we'll add a few details about our missing pet so that readers know what to look for. We'll create a text frame and have it fill a third of the center portion of the page. In this section, you can provide a name, description, a time frame of when the pet went missing, and any other details you think might be useful. We'll set some text distances to prevent element overlap and adjust our text font, style, and alignment to our liking. There is really no wrong way to do this part of the flyer, so long as all of the content is readable. Now that we have our background set and our content, we can shift to our images. So we'll switch to our images layer and add our first image frame. Then we'll add our image by right clicking on the frame and selecting content and then get image. Then we'll jump to our image content properties control panel and adjust our image by switching the scaling between free scaling and two frame size. After switching back to free scaling, we can adjust our linked scaled values to zoom in and align our photo as needed. When creating a missing pet flyer, one picture is good, but more is generally better. So we'll be adding a few more images of Max here. We'll do this by changing our default shape from a rectangle to a circle. Then we will create two circles, which will be converted to image frames, to our layout. Once we have our circles placed, we'll set their stroke to red and line width to two points. Then we'll right click on each and select convert to and then image frame. Like before, we'll right click on the frame and select content and then get image and then select the image from our computer that we want. Then from the images properties control panel, we can adjust our image scaling and position like we did before.
To provide a little more contrast, we can select our image frames, navigate to the Content Properties Control Panel drop-down section, and select Has Drop-Down Shadow, and set its opacity to 50%. Finally, to make it easier for readers to contact you, we can create a QR code containing our contact number so that they don't have to enter the number into their phones manually. We'll do this from the standard menu by selecting Insert and then Barcode. When the Insert Barcode window appears, set the barcode family to two-dimensional symbol, the barcode value to QR code, and contents to the personal contact number you would like readers to call. Then select OK. Now you can click anywhere on your document to add your barcode. And that's about it. I encourage you to try this out for yourself. Follow along with this video and watch it as many times as you'd like or need. For those that don't already know, you can use the settings menu to speed up the video or slow it down. Be sure to try some things out on your own. Feel free to let us know what you're working on in the comments section. In this video, we discussed how to create a missing pet flyer in Scribus. If this video helped you, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.